Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some first, first thoughts on Cozy Grove. Uh, this is a game that has just come out and it looks super adorable. It's kind of like Animal Crossing, uh, sort of meets Don't Starve. Like, it, it looks a lot like Don't Starve, but it plays a lot more like Animal Crossing, if that makes sense. Um, I haven't actually played it yet, but that's what I've heard, like, looking at the trailers and a couple of reviews and stuff. So, let's dive in and see what I think. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure if there'll be anything in this corner of the screen where my face is. I might need to move it around a bit. On to Master Physics Skills. That's the developer team, I believe. Bry Fox, I think, is a publisher. I'm not super sure. Blank screen. Cozy Grove. Okay, so it's showing this menu where my face is. I'll just, uh... That's not what I was trying to move. I'll move this over here so you can see. There we go. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, let's look at the options. We uh, can change the English. We can change the volume. That's about it. Got a whole lot of options there. We have three save slots. Uh, I guess I'll leave it on save slot one. Let's start. I may need to move my face again. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how we do. Resources regrow over time. If you can't find more fish, ore, etc., come back another time. Alright then. Every spirit is struggling with something. It may take them a while to open up about it. Your campfire, flamey, can burn many items, converting them into other useful ingredients. Some resources, like some fruit-bearing trees, can only be harvested when they are coloured. Okay. Chain lamps together in order to spread colour to new areas of the world. A lot of clues here. <laughs> you can upgrade Mr. Kit's store to gain access to a wider variety of goods. Cool. Welcome to the Spirit Scouts. Thought you had it on your first solo camping trip. Fix yourself up. Okay, so... When a spirit scout comes of age, they start to become more than the labels they've lived within. Uh, that's probably closest to me. Uh, a spirit scout's eyes are a peculiar, peculiar, peculiarly, peculiarly, peculiar, peculiarly unnatural pale <laughs> shade. I can't read today. Uh, shade, they see beyond. Uh... Let's go with, uh, ocean blue, yeah. Medium dreads. The envy from the other scouts is palpable. I can get braids. Oh, these are cute. Because they've got lots of cute options here. <laughs> Your mom gave you this haircut. Emo hair. Everyone thinks you are cool. Uh... I'd go with the braids. I'm hoping there are more options later, but this is a nice starting set. Looking good! Now it's time to begin your camping trip. You open the letter you carried from the rowboat. It says, Dear Spirit Scout, Welcome to the island of Cozy Grove. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island, so please check your provisions. Rangers from the mainland rarely visit the island. You will need to be self-sufficient. Note the previous camps reported run-ins with bears in the area, so use caution. Have fun and keep your fire burning. Scouting services. Spirit Scout motto. All those who are lost deserve kindness. Okay, um... There is some stuff in this corner of the screen. Uh, let me see. Stuff in every corner of the screen, actually. Uh, let me just grab my face. Maybe I put myself over here. That time is the real time. Uh... I don't know how important it is, but it's not going to change very quickly, so look at the time there. I've ruined my face. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, like Animal Crossing, this game uses a real-time clock. Uh, I have 20, I assume that's money. I have a little gear icon down there, I can see some fish. Uh, the Y button lets me open my backpack, which is currently empty. The X button opens this menu, which I can't do anything with that yet, by the looks of things. Uh, A button doesn't do anything. Uh, plus opens that options menu. There's not a whole lot of choices to go with just yet, but 
let's just go for a little run. You may notice, um, that character creator, it didn't ask anything about my character's gender. That is a feature of this game, it, the characters are not gendered. <laughs> Stand near the embers and press A. <coughs> oh, Aldo, starter log scout. Tastes like a century at least. So where have you brought us this time? Uh, some place called Cozy Grove. Cozy Grove, I know the name. I've licked it off old brochures tossed into my embers. I sense dozens of wounded, restless spirits here, desperate for help but not conscious of it. This doesn't seem like the sort of place young spirit scouts typically go for their first solitary excursion. Ah well, if you were sent here, the scouts must have been confident you'd be up to the task. Are you ready to see what's out there, beyond my firelight? Uh, yes. That's the spirit. I see. The ghost of a ranger at the edge of the woods. He's been waiting there a long, long time. Don't be scared, scout. Go introduce yourself. After all, you're here to help. Okay. Fire seems brighter. You are now scout rank one. Okay, um... Right over there. Oh, hello! You're, you're a bear. Sort of. Oh, you're not a... You're, you're still a bear. Huh, another imaginary camper. Must have brewed my Lady Grey a little strong this morning. Unless... Say, you're not a real living person, are you? Yes, I am. Well, I haven't heard news this exciting since the Babley Warblers hatched. Welcome to Camp Cozy Grove. I'm Charlie, your local ranger. Also a ghost. If you run into any problems, I'm your bear. Hey, that uniform of yours looks... Well, yeah. Oh my, you're a spirit scout. That does change the forecast a bit. Puts the sun behind the clouds, so to speak. Yep, that sounds like classic spirit scout propaganda. You're not the first spirit scout to visit this island. Many years ago, another ambitious youngster summoned a fire here in hopes of earning a final merit badge. It did not go as planned. No use to on the past though, is there? You're here now, friend. She's not. If you're planning to stay the night, remember the first rule of wilderness survival. Keep warm. Somewhere around here is a wood log. Find it and toss it on the fire. That should make things a little cozier for both of us. Discover one of Charlotte Pine's memories. Okay. Drop spirit wood into the fire. Okay, so I'm gonna look for spirit wood. Is that it? Was here, right in front of the fire. You received spirit wood. Here's a log for you. This is spirit wood. Where did you get this? Well, first of all, thank you. It's delicious. <laughs> the presence of spirit wood confirms my suspicions. The haunting of Cozy Grove runs deep. There are many lost souls here in need of your help. They can't rest until someone has helped them come to terms with their past lives. They may not even remember who they are or how they died if enough time has elapsed since they passed away. Ah, that spirit wood has fully caught fire now. My light is expanding. More of the island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see someone new, crafter of useful things. Delay camera recenter equals 10? Is that supposed to come up? Hey, that's a nice fire you have going. Still a bit small though, huh? See if you can find more spirit wood out there. A little warmth would do this island good. A healthy fire is sure to call some distant campers home. You earned a new badge, log burner. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh, there's like, there's colors and stuff now. I can get coins. Cozy Grove. And just want me to go over here? Oh, hello! Oh, I guess you can see me. Oh, sorry, I figured I'd be invisible. 
That's very, very, very kind of you. More than I deserve, I'm sure. Until I find out why I'm stuck here, I'm afraid I'll be haunting us both. Maybe I can make it up to you, Mega Buddy. Not to brag, but I'm pretty handy as ghosts go. Bring me three branches, okay? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Okay. Jeremy Gruffle is now my acquaintance. Looking for branches? Hello, little ghosts. Hello. Oh, I can't talk to them. Well, there's a branch. I assume I'll get like a fishing rod or something at some point because I'm seeing fish in the water like in Animal Crossing. There's another branch. There's another branch. That's three branches. Let's go talk to Jeremy Gruffle. Look at these sticks, what beauties. Twist here, a scoop there, and voila, your first shovel. Not my finest work, my paws kept slipping through the lathe. But if you want to dig up the soft dirt mounds around the island, that shovel will do the trick. These spirits, I've helped this poor scout. My haunting is complete. I'm still here, aren't I? <laughs> darn it, darn it. One flimsy shovel isn't going to do it, is it? Of course not. Well, don't worry, I'm full of ideas for tools. I'll give you all the help you need to stay cozy in our grove. Hope that shovel works out. Oh, and have a spirit log too. Oh. Story advanced, you received wooden shovel. Uh, it looks like they're like no longer ghostly, they've got a body or whatever. Are these guys just gonna disappear? Yeah. Pick up dirt mounds with the shovel. Um Whip. Oh, a turnip? Yeah, I'm finding some vegetables and stuff. A radish. Here's a look for you. Well done, my light is expanding again. I now see an old friend. Mr. Kit has noticed our beacon and set up his canteen shop. Huh, he looks quite at home here. But wait, there's more. I see a strange and salty figure standing on the shore. And as he has arrived, something else has vanished. Something important. Oh dear. Let's go see for yourself. Fire seems brighter. You are now scout rank 3. A new badge. Tutorial completer. I guess I did the tutorial. Sweet potato. Hey. You know, the ghost. Hello. Oh, a bird. In the oh, a bear? Look like a bird. In life, I was a bear of the sea. I sped from Cozy Grove to the main and back again a hundred times over. Unnatural, some said, for a bear to fly twixt the waves as I did. But did I listen? No, I did not. Cute. And now I am transformed. A vast young person, how long have you been standing there? You caught me reciting the origins. I'm Captain Bill Weathersnout, though some now call me the Seagull Bear. Uh, ahoy, Captain. Ahoy, indeed. It's a strange thing to be a Seagull Bear. My two halves are precious little in common. Except, of course, for a love of fish. Speaking of, are you hungry, young sailor? Fetch me a fishing rod and I'll show you what's on the menu. Okay, so I need to get a fishing rod from Mr. Kit's shop. Is very cute.
money. Hello. Oh, that's Charlotte. Can I help you with something? Sometimes you can find things in the silence by exploring with a keen eye, but other times you need to get your hands dirty. You notice those leaf piles lying around? Try digging through those when you come across them. You'll be surprised at what you find. The other day, I thought I saw an old book peeking out of the leaves. Hmm. I'm not sure how much space I have for stuff. Oh, it looks like plenty. That offer would be fine. No, no, not to be saving for a turn imp. They consider the comparison rather rude. The radish. Softwood. Brown mushroom. Sweet potatoes. Anything a potato can do, a sweet potato can do better. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. Hello. Why, hello there, pr prospective shubber. I must confess, when I followed your fire, I never expected to end up here again. The island's fallen into quite a state since my last visit. But how rude of me, I haven't properly introduced myself. You may call me Mr. Kit. I know your name, of course, but I am far too polite to repeat it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't take a name for my character, so... Um... I guess I'll just never mention it. I have a standing agreement with the Spirit Scouts, you know? Wherever you are, Kit's Canteen shall be there for all your buying and selling needs. The only catch? I set the prices. Uh, I want to buy something. All the shiny new stuff. Oh, there's a fishing rod. One time I caught a fish and it was this big. Throw bobber into water in front of fish. I have 20 old coins. I assume that's what the coins that I have are? Old coins? Sounds great, take my money. Here's the wilderness guide. Found it. Neat. Uh. Hello. Hi, sailor. That'll do. That will do nicely. Well, what are you waiting for? If you want to find us a proper meal, you're going to have to plug it from the depth yourself. Take that rod and catch us a whopper. Story advanced. Okay, um, I assume I can use the fishing rod. I do this. Then, go look for a fish shadow. There's one. Oh, old ZR. Oh, okay, interesting. I think I press A to actually pull them in, but I'm not sure. Yep, there we go. I got something. Yeah, ugly loach. Received ugly loach. Is that all we need? I don't know. I see you've already been testing out your rod. Well, either give me the one you've got or catch a new one. I'll be waiting. Any fish. A uh, fine fin you've managed to dredge up there. Good eating. I think you and I will have plenty of time for fishing. Now that your boat's washed out to sea. <gasps> My boat did what? Oh yeah, a loose knot and a fickle tire was all it took to send you a vessel on its merry way back to Neptune's bosom. Don't blame yourself, this island's a maelstrom of ill fortunes churned by our wretched tales of ghostly woe. Until we spirits find a measure of peace, none may leave this place. So young sailor, though you're a living scout and I'm a ghost, we have something in common. 
We're both stranded here on Cozy Grove. Whatever plan Z had of solving all our ghostly problems in a single evening? Put him out of your mind. We bears ain't your overnight project anymore. We're your neighbours. Squawk. What a twist. Story advanced. You received spirit wood. And this area got coloured in as well. Yeah, I guess I'm stuck here. Oops. <laughs> Get through here. Excuse me. Did I not go that way? Oh, there's a rock there. I just couldn't see it because I was too close. Yeah, the visuals are a little confusing sometimes. That's it. Why, well, it's an old spirit, spirit Scout Wilderness Guide. And hey, the Memento Collection portion of this book is still intact. That's where scouts track their progress helping local spirits. Which I have to admit, you've got a pretty good start, start on. I'll hold on to this book and use it to track your progress helping the spirits of Cozy Grove. Would you like to look at the Mento, Mento Collection book now? Yeah, show me our sweet relationship progress. That's the spirit. Here it is. Oh, I see. Draw line. Two of those. Forest two of six. Two memories. Oh, that's how I view these, right. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, oh, I got another log. Okay, uh, if I go over here, and give my fire some of these logs. Storage? Clothing collection? There's lots of stuff. Here's a log for you. Delicious! Hmm, that's strange, I'm still hungry. I think one more spirit log should do it though, since the log in your bag. I do have another one, here you go. Ah, another healthy dose of positive spirit energy. You're doing well, young scout. The more you help these ghosts, the more they will remember. It may go slowly at first, but trust and understanding is not a thing you can manufacture quickly. Help these bears, guide them through remembering themselves, eventually they will find peace. Ah, my light shines further, illuminates lost corners in time. See another figure, absorbed with finding and delivering lost things to everyone but himself. You two have that in common, I think. Life seems brighter. You're now Scout Rank 4. chill wind blows ashore. Ghost that I am, it blows clean through me, sending a shiver. A few more feathers under my coat might soften the breeze a bit. Too bad I just molted. Okay, so you're looking for feathers. A little ghost. That's a feather. Okay, so I'm doing little side quests for each of them. Hello. Are you with something? Hey there, Maker Buddy. I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology. Oof. For what? I made you that slipshod shovel early, hoping a good deed would get me out of being a ghost. Of course, it hasn't worked out. Maybe because the shovel I gave you? Not my best work. Let me show you what I mean. First, I'm gonna need some softwood, root vegetables, and wood branches. Okay, I've got the vegetables. I need to find some branches. Shovels made of root vegetables? I didn't think they were. Oh, 
Oh, there's another ghost over there. Hello. Patrice Furback, the postal bearer at your disposal. You know, when I joined the service, I figured I'd be in it for life, and I was. I never suspected the job would keep going after. Let me tell you, delivering mail to ghosts, that's a whole new bag. A whole new mail bag? Ooh, busting out the postal humour from the jump? You and I will get along just fine. Before I went boots up, my work had a certain routine. Deliveries for local residents arrived at the town post office at 0800 sharp. I relayed those deliveries to listed residences. Ghost deliveries though, they're processed through the psychic plane. They just show up wherever and whenever they want to. I ran patrol this morning looking for new arrivals. But I bet a spirit log there are more packages out there waiting to be tracked down. Okay, so I want to go look for some packages. As well as the other things I'm looking for. Have a look around, I guess. Frolicking in leaf piles. Pretty. Not that much. Not any more packages. Any packages yet, though. They're around here somewhere, I assume, but... As for the specifics, I do not know. Dig here. Money, money, money. <laughs> How close am I getting what I need for you? Alright, the resources regrow over time. Yeah, because this game uses real time, a real time clock. Uh, you sometimes just have to stop playing and wait for things to grow. Uh, like in Animal Crossing. Um, like, I believe you're intended to play, you know, a little bit each day rather than play constantly for hours and hours on end. Which is fine. Um, you know, it works in Animal Crossing as well. And that game is great. Uh, I was having a little ghostly chat. That's cute. Finding plenty of shells, but no packages. Hmm. Where they are? I guess I can probably sell these to make some money. Oh, there's a package. I only need the one? Yeah, okay, let's, let's take it back. Uh, you're the building guy. Oh, that, no, that's Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. You know, we aren't the only spirits that could use your help. Sometimes lost and needy animals visit these woods. In fact, I think one wandered into Mr. Kid's shop just this morning. Milk like a simple child of a young placid bird. If you buy and bring it to me, I'll show you its secrets. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Um, but first I'm going to deliver this package, which goes up here. Let's have a bit of a map, an overview of where things are. Here are my badges. Spirit Scouts are diligent. That's thrifty. 
Oh, I see. There's different types of badges. So, Diligent, Fire Level 2, Fire Level 5. Oh, I can collect my reward? Here we are. I'm not sure where that's coming from, but... I'm, I'm Like, since I'm stranded here by myself, but... I seem to be getting a bunch of rewards for the things I've been doing, so that's cool. Their necessities. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, um, hello. I found a package for you. Did you feel it? The rush of finding a package? The thrill of checking for a well-formatted address? <laughs> Let me be straight with you. I love this job. But I could use a postal help to help me with the USDs. The USD? Sorry, that's postal slang. Our identified supernatural deliverables, aka USDs, will be our primary assignment. Most of them are pretty tame. They might rattle or whisper, but that's it. But if you come across a troublesome package, one that's screaming in Aramaic or spewing demon fire, well, you just send that puppy my way. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Because one way or another, that thing's bound to be addressed to me. Oh, and it seems I've already received a letter addressed to you as well. Wait, I have a mailbox here? Yes, here it is. Here we go, scouts. Hope you're sailing into your solo camping adventure. Don't be disheartened if you can't find a needy ghost immediately. I intentionally picked a safe island that's not too haunted. When you finally find a ghost, try to make it help it make peace with itself, and when you do, you'll finally graduate to second degree. P.S. I'll try to write you every day, unless I get busy. Get present? Uh, is that the same? Oh, hi, it's me, Postal Bear. I sent this letter to you via myself so you could see how it works. I've also included a little thank you gift for your help, Postal Bear. Cool. Story advanced. And there's some color over here, I can grab some money. an interesting game. It's also super duper cute, so, you know, that's good too. Do I have to open this bundle? More sculpture. The chisel marks say a lot about the artist. Oh no, that, that's a decoration. Place? Oh, cute. Look at that. Uh, pick up. Okay, so that, that symbol is the furniture symbol, like the leaf in Animal Crossing, I guess. Hello. I want to buy something. Oh, you've got lots of stuff now. Uh, I do want one of these. A happy spirit animal. Feed cooked food, then harvest essence. Surround it with items it likes to increase your harvest. I have 250 old coins. Golden plum tree, 15,000 old coins, three spirit bird essences. Oh, I see, some things cost other types of resource. And the game gives you lemons, rejoice! <laughs> okay, I bought that, uh, oh, hang on. Bought that for you, here you go. Yes, this is the bird charm I was talking about. Seems like a simple trinket, doesn't it? But when it's placed on the ground, it transforms into its true self, a ghost bird! They're given specific foods and kept near things they like, they will thrive. Poor bird is hungry, I'll order some food it will like, but the food won't arrive until tomorrow. In the meantime, let's find it a spot to live. Why don't you place this animal on the ground near your campfire? We have letter in about eight hours. Alright. Story advanced. Color, 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 color. You earned a new badge, Animal Minder. Hello, little animal. Feed cooked food, then harvest essence. Yeah, let's pet it. Good little birdie. Good little birdie. Oh! Um, we also got a spirit log, so... Here's a log for you. 
Yum! Only four more logs before I'm full. Hence a log in your bag. Nope. Oh, only three logs before I'm full. Two logs out there. Maybe close, maybe far. Place animals one, turn it all coins. Ching! This is a very cute game. <laughs> Uh, let's go back to the uh, construction helper friend over here. Hello. Quite a lot of materials you've gathered, and I bet you're wondering what sort of tools you're going to make for me now. Sorry, no tool this time. Did you know folks used to come here from all over to learn how to build and fix things for themselves? Maybe if I pass that skill on to you, I can pass on myself? My crafting bench is open to you anytime. Just stop by and let me know when you want to craft something. Here, have some crafting recipes to get you started. Select one and learn recipe, then you can bring the ingredients to me and get crafting. Well, if you already have enough wood to build yourself something interesting. Great, let me show you to my workshop. Uh, let's see. Can I make any of these? I can make a chair? I think it's the only one. Make a chair or a fence? Make a chair. Craft chair, cost four branches. How's that sound? Sounds great. Crafted. You received chair. Also a bunch of other stuff. All this stuff. Instructions for crafting fence. Learn recipe. Yay! Wooden bathtub? Antique. I don't think it's possible to craft an antique. Like, it won't, if you just made it, it's not an antique. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Take the chair over to Flamey. Put it here somewhere. Can I sit on it? Doesn't look like it. And look at it. Fruits? Oh, we got a fruit. Golden plum. This is very cute. I'm just looking for feathers. Right here somewhere. Dead near a top. Um, I think there's a top. Where I'm camping, but that's the only one I can think of. This is cute. Like, that's a tarp, right? The rock's on top of it there. So, back here. Leaf pile here with a bunch of cool stuff in it. Here we go. Hmm. I don't know where this last feather's gonna be. Look by a tarp is what it says to do, but I don't see one. Hmm. There's another tarp around that I haven't spotted. Uh, 
down here somewhere? I think it's a little um, inconvenient that the colour seems to disappear from areas that you haven't recently done things in. Then you go look around there and you can't really see properly because there's no colour. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong that's making that happen or if it's just how the game works. This music's really nice, though. Out and resolute. Harvest leaf piles. I did that. Harvest mounds. I did that too. It's a log for you. Two more logs before I'm full. Someone has a long day to give you if you can help them. Yeah, the the gotta give them the feathers. That's a feather. Buy a tarp. Yeah, I still haven't spotted any other tarps besides the one at my campsite. Is that a tarp? Oh it is. <laughs> okay, I see. I see how it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, here are the feathers. You go, Captain. Fuck! That's a fine set of feathers! Why bother helping me, little castaway, when you have such troubles of your own? I'm just being neighborly. Huh, neighborly. You might find somewhat put stock in that concept here on Cozy Grove, but it doesn't mean much to us birds. Still, I thank ye. With those bits of pluff pad in my coat, the winter's bite does lose its teeth. Bundled so a rule of the afterlife comes to me, clear as white rum. Even in death, you cannot refeather your wing. Oh no. Story advanced. Okay, and I'm gonna get some more spirit wood, and we can grab a couple of these. Delicious. It's one final log and I'll be full. I'm not sensing any more spirit logs. Check back with the spirits tomorrow to see if they need help. And now maybe go fishing or collect some seashells. Mm. Might move this bird. Hang on. Hello bird. Pick up. Go a little bit over here so you're out of my way. Uh, upgrade my tent. Additional storage for 5,000 old coins. I don't have that many. Oh, I see. My storage is quite small. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> oh, durability? Ooh. I had not noticed that. Durability 10 out of 20. Hmm. Fishing ore doesn't seem to have that problem, but maybe when I get a better shovel, it won't have that problem either. It might just be the basic shovel. I don't know. We can cooking something. See what we can get. Uh, I want to burn something. Uh, let me see. Potato? I've got to select multiple things. Or I can, anyway. Uh, let's try a potato and a radish. 15 roasted root vegetables. Okay. Oh, 
Huh, neat. Uh, let's try the mushrooms. Yep, I'm creating meals. I don't think I can eat them. Dice tube is toasted by someone with a, a male a mail yard fetish. Oh, I see. The the mail yard reaction is the is the bread toasting effect, essentially. So that that sort of makes sense. Um, can I feed you the stuff I've just got? Feed cooked food. How how do I do that? Uh, hold in hand. Uh, or item. Gonna eat it? Okay, yep, that's working, I think. Are you eating it? I mean, I know it's not the exact thing they're looking for, but I don't think I have the ingredients to make whatever that is. Doesn't look like they're eating it. I'm confused. <laughs> uh, let's talk to some bears, maybe. I was just thinking. I said before, camper, we rangers insist on proper camping etiquette. But what I haven't told you is there's more to camping etiquette than leave no trace and douse your fire before you go to sleep. No, no, it goes much deeper than that. Looking arcane texts go back centuries, shadowy organizations that. <laughs> well, now I've said too much. Uh. Are hidden objects around? Hmm. Clothes? Oh! Oh, I can buy little hats and stuff. Glasses? Yeah, I need glasses. Uh... Is that the only one that's on sale today? Looks like it. Excellent. You'll get an earache if you go out without your earmuffs, Mother Law magazine. <laughs> get a hat, you can get a t-shirt, get a scarf. Bomber jacket? Oh, that looks cute. That's probably fine for now, thank you. Uh, what else do you have on offer? You said a new look? If I pick that, okay, so you can just change this up whenever you want. That's good. Uh, not the hairdo though. The looks of things. Maybe I unlock something to do that later? Greetings, Parcel Pusher. You know, you've got to be careful handing some of these more lively packages. I've had fur singed, I've had my ears deafened, and I've gotten the willies more times than I can count. I don't mind it though. I mean, if it doesn't happen to me, it would happen to someone else, right? And that would be much worse. Uh, mailbox? Nothing in there. Nothing new anyway, I've already read those. I guess I'm roughly done with the first day. I'm not sure there's much else I can do at this point, because no one's given me any more quests to do. Hello. Repair a tool. Oh, I can't repair anything. Maybe it needs to be broken before I can repair it? About branches into softwood or hardwood if you want. And 
craft some gold out of silver somehow. <laughs> what? Okay, yeah, silver is made from iron. And then gold is made from silver. I, I don't... I don't know how that works. Hmm. Something so satisfying about building things with your own hands, isn't there? Even if the final product is small, it's filled with all the hard work and care you put into it. That satisfaction's its own reward, don't you think? I guess so. Have a few more of these trees. Got a citron. Maybe the color goes away when you expand, like, because that means everyone will have new quests. Not sure. Because I expanded a couple times by, by throwing spirit logs in, and I kind of lost track of how long that. How, like, what, which things lost their colour when, so maybe that's how it works? I don't know. Well, I'm coming up on about an hour, so I'll probably wrap this video up shortly. Um, but yeah, I think you get the basic idea of what the game's about. You're just sort of wandering around in a cute little island doing vaguely Animal Crossing-ish things. Uh, and hanging out with little ghost bears. <laughs> and yeah, like Animal Crossing, it's a slow-paced sort of game. Um, which is nice. I believe um, there isn't really that much functionality for decorating. Uh, you saw like we could drop down a couple of different items, but it's not nearly as complete as the system in Animal Crossing. And you don't really have a house either. You've got like, this is where your tent is and that's a little bit of storage. So, a little more limited in that respect. Good, good little birdie. <laughs> yeah, um, I think I'm more or less out of things to do for now. So yeah, this is a real time game, so I, I'll jump in some more leaves now and then, but there's probably not a whole lot to get out of it. Big. Not oh, I'm, I'm guessing that's how I squirrels are appalled. Oh no, is that how you um like? Can you make food like a baked goods out of that? Maybe. I don't know. A lot of these things are very expensive. Is that five thousand old coins and ten quartz gemstones, or is it five thousand old coins or ten quartz gemstones? Either way, it sounds pretty pricey. I try to sell stuff, like... Is that all five of them are worth that much? No, they're each worth that much. Damn, these things are actually pretty valuable. Potatoes. Yeah. Use on how power is a social construction. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oop. Hardwood, 520 old coins. That's not each, is it? I don't, I don't think it would be. 40 old coins. Yeah, that makes more sense. There are 40 old coins for the... That's worth a lot, yeah. Huh. The solar sm the, the, the small sculpture for a 5,000. I mean, it's actually say sell for coins, so I probably want to sell those ones. 
imagine they don't have any other purpose. Let's see the shells by the looks of things. Yeah, these are all shells, shells so yeah. Boop. Deal. Cool. That's some more money now. Um, yeah, I think I'm about done for now. I'd have to, like, look to my fire to save or anything. It's not work that way. Doesn't look like there's a save option. I'm not sensing any more spirit logs. Check back with the spirits tomorrow to see if they need help. And I'm gonna go fishing and collect some seashells. Yeah, I think I'm more or less done for the day. Hmm, like Animal Crossing, this would probably be nice if it had like a sort button. Just immediately put everything into sensible places. Because some um, Dragon Quest Builders 2 has that, and it makes inventory management just much simpler. Something like that, roughly. Okay. So yeah, um, that's Cozy Grove. Uh, a game where you run around on a little island and help ghost bears, and it's pretty adorable. And you're a little, little scout, doing little scout things, and it's cute. Um, so yeah, it's just released, so you can, like, pick it up at, like, at a discount at the moment, because it's just been released and they're putting it on sale. It's on, it's on, I think, Steam and maybe Itch? It's on Epic as well. It's on, it's on a couple of different stores. Uh, this is the Switch version, but it's available in a couple of different places, so if you want to play it, you can play it. Um, I am noticing some, like, sort of, like, jittering sort of stutters in the way the game runs on Switch. I don't know if that's, like, a bug only on Switch or if that's on every version. It might be something they'll, like, work out in, like, a Day Zero patch or... I, I don't really know. Um, but it's not really a huge problem. Like, the game's not, um, at all action-oriented, so having a tiny bit of slowdown here and there doesn't impact the gameplay too much. Um, it's just a little annoying is all. It'll... But yeah, um, that's about it for this video. Um, this game looks real cute. Uh, I can't really do a whole lot more until tomorrow, so m maybe I'll make like a follow-up where I play again tomorrow. But probably it'll look pretty much the same. Um, I'll, I'll try to re I'll try recording a little more tomorrow and see if it's like different enough to be worth adding a bit extra to the video or doing a sequel video or anything. But I'm guessing it'll be more or less the same gameplay loop. Uh, so yeah. I, I, I like the way you sort of skip around like this. It's pretty cute. Um, interesting that your character doesn't like face different directions ever. You just sort of hop around while looking like this all the time. Um, I mean, you're sort of facing a different way when you, you tilt a little bit, but like you don't actually turn around and face backwards. Interesting. Um, a little bit strange. Eh, no big deal though. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this has been Cozy Grove, a newly released game which is very cute, and I can't show a whole much more because of the way it works using a real time clock. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and bye!